In our first joke of the day, this grandfather explains the difference between a sideline, a girlfriend, and a wife. This young boy was having a chat with his grandfather when he suddenly asked a weird question. Hey, Grand, what is the difference between a wife, a girlfriend, and a sideline? I would like to be able to explain it to the boys at school. His grandfather thinks hard about how to answer this and then starts. Your sideline is like honey. It's very sweet and you can never get enough of it. However, being so sweet, it gives you diabetes. Your girlfriend is like rice and curry. It's still very nice, but you can only have a bit of it sometimes, as it gives you cholesterol. Your wife, on the other hand, is like peanut butter and jelly. If there is nothing else to eat, then you are too glad to eat it. <laughs> In our next joke, this little girl asks her mother where her gray hair comes from. One day, a little girl was sitting watching her mother do the dishes in the kitchen sink. She suddenly notices that her mother had several strands of gray hair sticking out in contrast to her brunette head. She looked at her mother inquisitively and asked, Why is some of your hair gray, Mom? Her mother, after thinking about it for a short bit, replied, Well, every time you do something naughty and make me cry or unhappy, one of my hairs turns gray. The little girl thought about this revelation for a while and then said, Mom, how come all of Grandma's hair is gray? <laughs> in the following joke, these two guys are having a chat in a bar. Obviously, they are not sober. Two men were sitting next to each other in a pub in London. The barman can't help but to overhear their conversation. The one bloke looks at the other and speaks. I can't help but to think, from listening to your accent, that you're from Ireland. Oh, yes, and proudly so, if I must say. And where are you from? Me too. And where about in Ireland are you from? I'm from Dublin. And you? So am I. And from what part of Dublin, if I might ask? I lived on McCoy Street, in the old part of town. No way. It's such a small world. I also lived there. About this time, a regular at the pub called Vicky walks up to the bar, sits down, and orders a drink. Brian the barman walks over to Vicky, shaking his head and mutters, Hey, Vicky, it's gonna be a long night tonight. Why do you say that, Brian? The Murphy twins from Dublin are drunk again. <laughs> In the next joke, we bring honor to all the mothers on Mother's Day. Sarah went to town, looking for a job. The storefront window had an advertisement. Help wanted, the ad read. No training provided, it began a flicker of doubt igniting in Sarah's mind. She read further. Zero compensation. Now she is truly worried. Unbreakable contract. Lifelong commitment. Sarah's eyes widened. The final line underlined with dramatic flair. This critical role will shape lives. She peeked through the window. Inside, a chorus of laughter filled the air. Welcome, said a woman, her voice a melody of pleasure. The sign wasn't a warning, it was a badge of honor. With a grin, she stepped inside, ready to take on the most challenging, rewarding job in the world, mother. Let's all love our mothers this upcoming Mother's Day. In the following joke, this teacher gets in trouble because she is showing too much cleavage. This teacher loves dresses with low necklines. She had good cleavage, and the grade 10 boys loved it. The mothers, on the other hand, were little concerned and complained to the principal. The principal called her in and asked, Can you please do something about the cleavage? The mothers are complaining. The following morning, the teacher had a carnation, neatly tucked into the cleavage. During nature study, she asked the class, Now what do carnations need to grow? A quick response from one of the boys was, Milk teacher. He was immediately sent to the principal for disciplinary action. The principal asked the boy, Why did you say a carnation need milk to grow? As you well know, it needs water to grow. The boy replied, Gee, sir, I didn't know a carnation had such a long stem. <laughs> In the next joke, this old lady is at a chemist looking for birth control pills. An elderly woman went into the pharmacy. The pharmacist asked, 
Is there anything that I can assist you with? The elderly lady responds, I would like to have some birth control pills, please. Taken aback by this request, the pharmacist thought for a minute and then said, Excuse me, lady, you must be at least 75 years old. What possible use could you have for birth control pills? The old lady responds to the pharmacist, The birth control pills help me to sleep better at night. The pharmacist, now very confused, asks, Are you sure? You are not looking for sleeping tablets? How in the world do birth control pills help you to sleep? I put the birth control tablets in my granddaughter's orange juice. Then I sleep much better at night. <laughs> in our next joke, little Johnny asks his mother why his dad is so bold. Little Johnny was sitting at the breakfast table one morning while his mother was dishing up breakfast. Little Johnny had a brainwave, so he asks his mother, Mom, Dad is so bold, why is there no hair on his head? Little Johnny's mom had to think long and hard, because Little Johnny always have a mischievous streak. She answers, Well, Johnny, your dad has no hair on his head, because he is the cleverest man that I have ever met. Well, he wouldn't be Little Johnny if he didn't know how to respond. So Little Johnny, he immediately then asks his mother, So, Mom, why do you have so many hairs on your head then? <laughs> In the next joke, this guy runs past some prostitutes every morning. Hilarious. In today's comedy, we bring you a funny joke about a prostitute. This guy went running one morning, but on the corner of a street which he was running past, stood a prostitute. Jokingly, he screamed at her. How much for your service? $150. The runner jokingly shouts back, How about $5? She just shows him to go away. This game goes on every day and the guy is very happy with himself joking with this prostitute. One day the guy went jogging with his wife. They followed the same route and once again, there stood the prostitute on the street corner. Now obviously the guy is very careful not to make any jokes while his wife is with him. As they pass the prostitute, she shouted at the two of them running. Now, can you see what you get for $5? <laughs> In the following joke, we remind you all again about Mother's Day. Mothers are just the best. When Forrest Gump's mother said that live is like a box of chocolates, she was probably right. Then I heard that chocolates had therapeutic powers, apparently. They can heal temper tantrums and break any sadness. Your wife and your mother will know this for sure. Remember when you were young, your mother knew that the only bar that was child-friendly was a chocolate bar. Do you still remember all the effort mom took to get you through college or university? It was because mom wanted you to become a smarty. Then remember when you went to the conspiracy theories convention? It was again like a box of chocolates. It was full of nuts. I have finally come to the realization that I am nuts about chocolates. But I am not alone in this. Please don't forget your mothers this coming Mother's Day. Buy her some chocolates. In the following joke, a engaged lady is concerned that things will change once she gets married. Two girls were having a chat. One of them was engaged and were about to get married. The second lady was already married. The engaged lady asked, Jenny, I have heard so many times that things change once you get married. What is your experience of it? Well, it changes because you are both in a new environment, with new commitments. But which part are you specifically asking about? Well, I am worried that things will change with our love life. Will Joe still be so romantic? And will he still love me once we are married? Off cause Joe will still love you. He always loved married woman. In our last joke of the day, this lady have a problem with her husband's comments. Ever wondered how your wife perceives a bad comment? Well, you better be warned. These two ladies were having coffee at a coffee shop when the one said to the other, You won't believe what my husband said to me the other day. Oh no. What did he do, please tell? He said to me while we were lying in bed, 
that it's been years since I took his breath away. Can you believe the audacity? I don't believe it. Well, knowing you, I am sure you decided to take his breath away. Oh, yes. I was up the whole night thinking how to take my revenge. So, yesterday, when he left to work, I threw all his asthma pumps away. Now that is sure to take his breath away. <laughs>